Hi, my name is Stephen Stavroulakis from Reaching New Heights Australia and I'm here today to give you a review of the How to Wow Client Attraction System book by John Dwyer which I got yesterday when I attended the Wow Marketing Accelerator Build Your Business Fast with this Proven Client Attraction System seminar in Sydney. Now before I review the book I just want to let it be known very very quickly that I tend to read lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of business books normally a book a week um, I'm the sort of person that reads a book a week and basically takes stuff from those books and implements it straight away in my business um, so just be wary of that when I'm giving you my review of this book um, which by the way is a great great book so what's the book about well in a nutshell um, the way I would describe the book is um, it's about a boy who becomes a man um, you know, moves from school fates and Catholic youth groups uh, to working at Roselands, eventually the Woolworths, starting up his own business, um, almost going bankrupt, um, asking the Lord for help, uh, getting it, um, recovering from a bad situation, never giving up, and uh, then taking what he's learned over 30 years doing what he does which is um, marketing and helping small businesses and giving that back to small business owners to help them now I think that's a very very quick summary of it but it's a great great book with great great stories in it and for me the stories were what really made this book um, chapter 5 for example um, for me was quite an inspirational chapter which is um, a chapter about dreams can come true which was a show that um, he created for Channel 10 um, where people did extraordinary things for ordinary people um, and you got stars like Mike Jordan and Princess Di and um, oh, what's his name Meatloaf and David DeCockney from X-Files and Paul Hogan and a whole bunch of others um, to help people who needed the help the most and he did that because of a promise he made to the guy upstairs after he nearly went bankrupt uh, asking for a plea to get him out of his situation so there's some great great stories in there. there's a story about how he got Jerry Seinfeld um, to appear for the Greater Building Society which is another great story um, and there's just example after example after example of um, who he's worked for what he's done um, and just what he's learned along the years just being you know um, not vomited out into this book but basically being put down in this book it's it's truly amazing um, the best chapter of the book as far as if you're a business owner entrepreneur is channel a uh, channel <laughs> is chapter 9 where um, he talks about his 10 point client attraction system uh, his wow system uh, if you go to his seminar he only basically covers um, five of those points in what he calls the wheel of wow um, but uh, in the book he covers uh, ten points and I'll just go th quickly through those um, point number one being about uh, being very, very specific about your target audience and knowing very, very clearly who they are doing your research upon those guys your demographic profiling and so forth and finding that niche and not just going after everyone chapter two uh, not chapter two but point two of the ten point system being about uh, becoming the experts and becoming the Steve Irwin of your industry so providing extraordinary experiences for your customers becoming a problem solver being unique making sure you're seen everywhere online offline writing books uh, social media TV radio newspapers blogs you know going to chamber of commerce and giving speeches and so forth and so on um, number three about creating a wow um, and being the un of your industry uh, he's got loads and loads of examples about that number four is about using a problem solution formula um, as well as you know, trying to do the branding like the big uh, big guys like Coca-Cola and Apple and Nike do so in the problem solution formula he calls it the, you know, the Panadol formula where you know I've got a headache I take a Panadol so there's my problem my solution is Panadol I don't really care about the features I just care about the benefits that my headache's going to go away in you know 5, 10, 15 minutes um, and you know the, the, the process being that you've got a problem you prod it and aggravate it 
um, you then uh, provide the solution, you then provide the social proof, and then you provide a call to action on how they can get that product and so forth. Um, a lot of people don't do this and they should be. Uh, point five is about dumping your boring website because most people websites are portfolios they sit there doing nothing for them they should be um, online sales brochures um, and marketing driven websites and he talks about the key components being um, you know the home page being the most important bit and trying to model it the way uh, like a new days so the cover of a magazine so you have a headline um, you'd have uh, benefits not just features you have the good, all the good stuff above the file. You have a data capture facility to build your database. You have problem solution. You have really, really good copy. You have a welcome video. You have video testimonials, not just written testimonials, because no one believes those nowadays. You then look at the about us and put in expertise statements and so forth. And that, that, um, that's actually covered in uh, what chapter is it covered in? Uh, chapter eight actually covers that very, very well. Um, and this is in chapter nine point five of his ten point system. He just goes over it again with some great examples and some great templates uh, and some great um, examples of home pages that he's done for some of his clients, which is just absolutely brilliant. Point six is about doing events um, and talking about bringing bees to your honey pot and doing seminars, expos, dinner events, cocktail parties, and so forth, which is an absolutely awesome, awesome awesome point, something that I've neglected, which I need to get sorted. Um, chapter 7 is all about video, not chapter 7, <laughs> point 7 is all about video testimonials, which he sort of covers all throughout, but he just shows you how to do video testimonials, the process for getting good video testimonials, and why video testimonials are important. Uh, point 8 is about getting free publicity, both online and offline. It shows you that you need to either be provocative or have invented something like the iPad or the iPhone you know, to get free publicity. Um, but he gives you examples of how to do that and uh, gives you websites online where you can do it and talks about his offline contacts and so forth. Point nine is about delivering extraordinary customer service and he's got 10 tips there which are you know uh, great again just getting the book for that is fantastic. And number 10 which is a uh, point 10 which is um, a common theme throughout the book is all about getting repetitive trades, not just making one sale, but getting the customer coming back again and again and again and again, understanding lifetime customer values and putting in repetitive trade systems into your business. Um, so just that 10, those 10 points and just that one chapter, chapter 9, make this book a must-have. Um, if any business owner out there is struggling or doesn't know what they're doing, take chapter 9, implement every one of those 10 points and I think you will find your, your problems will go away. So, in summary, it's a great, great book. Um, I mean, it reinforced a lot of what I already knew, um, but it also pointed out some things that I wasn't doing. Um, predominantly, the, uh, some repetitive trade ideas, which I wasn't thinking about, um, and the events, which I really need to get on and do more of. Um, but, yeah, great, great stories. Um, Real-world examples from someone who's been there. So this guy isn't a one-trick pony. Um, he's not one of those people that you know gets up in a seminar and sells you crap. Um, he's been there, done that for 30 years. He's got the proof, not the proof, but he's got the proof to prove it. Um, you know, and he was rich, and he almost well, he was poor, and then he was rich again. So he's been through the hardship and the struggles that most entrepreneurs do go through. Um, he didn't give up, um, and he fought through it, and the people around him supported because he had good people around him. Um, and some just great, great stories that you can really, really get out of this book. Um, great emotion, chapter 5 is a tearjerker, uh, if you do go to his seminar and he puts the videos on of those, actually if you go to his website www.theinstituteofwow.com, I think there's a TV section um, in one of the menu items and you can actually go and have a look at some of these videos, they really are tearjerking, um, but lovely. Uh, so again, great ideas to implement, um, yeah, talking about never giving up, which should be the mantra of every entrepreneur. Uh, all about giving back and his dreams can come true, which I think is fantastic. And you know, one of the other things that I'm going to take away from this book is that it's inspired me to do more in my life, but also to give back more often. Um, you know, all in all, it's reinforcing that what I'm doing is uh, right, um, but that I need to do more and more of it. Um, and all in all, uh, if I were to rate this book, uh, in all honesty, and I've read quite a few books, just for chapter 9 on its own right, um, and just for the great storytelling in this book, uh, and just for, you know, following a great story, I'd probably give it an 8 or a 9 out of 10. Uh, I'd get close to giving it a 10 out of 10. Um, 
get your hands on this book and if you need to get this book I think um, if you attend the WOW Marketing Accelerator uh, seminar and I think there's another one coming up in June or August if you go to John's website uh, www.theinstituteofwow.com uh, you'll see when the next event is on I would get to this event in a heartbeat um, it's truly amazing I mean he's a very very sarcastic son of a gun um, but it's a great day there's lots of fun had he's very very funny very very comedic um, but he's got just so much knowledge and so much experience to share he just gives so much value on the day that you'd be a fool not to go um, and you know you get this book so you've got nothing to lose that's my review. I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you do get along to see John Dwyer at one of his seminars, um, and you know, get to see what he's all about, and hopefully get to work with him, and he makes a huge difference to your business. Thank you.